So we're talking Riverdale, Chapter 9, La Grand Illusion. I guess that's how you pronounce it. This episode was way better than I thought it was going to be. I gotta be honest. I went to this one thinking we're going to get a lot of boring, like, Blossoms talk and not much else going on there. But this one had more heart than I was expecting. It was a lot more fun than I was expecting. And it was a lot more interesting than I was expecting. So let's jump right into the episode. Who knew that maple syrup was such a lucrative business? Because I sure as hell didn't. And I live in Canada and I had no idea, you know, that maple syrup was as valuable. It's so surprising to me that, you know, that's they have the fortune from maple syrup and it's like a lucrative thing. It's a huge business. They had the like, executives coming in from their business trying to scoop it and take over the business. Now that Jason's dead, they're having their annual like maple, maple syrup hunt or something. It's weird. It's so funny. All those people are ginger. It's really creepy. Like everybody going on like the maple syrup hunt was ginger and the blossoms they're all ginger it's so creepy that's why I, that's why i think she chose archie is because like he looks like jason and it's weird because they don't i mean they don't look alike a lot but they're ginger they got that person look to them so it's weird it makes sense whatever it's it's archie and jason looking alike maple syrup it's so weird but i i have to say i really liked cheryl in this episode she was probably my favorite character this episode past ones she just came across as a bitch and you know she didn't do much but in this one i really felt for her i really started to understand things from her side of each story all every everything with her i really felt for her character i loved everything that happened with her you know her family doesn't respect her because you know she, they like jason more it's pretty much they're just saying they they like jason more now that she's alone she's a wreck and at the funeral she broke down crying and then archie defends her on that which i really liked because you know what what are you supposed to do? She broke down. It's her brother. It's her twin. And, you know, you, you should cry at a funeral because it's good. It's an emotional thing. Cheryl was incredible. The actress did an, a great job portraying all the emotions she went through with her family, with Archie. That scene with her and Archie near the end of the episode when she kisses him and she just gives him all these feelings. And you can see that she has been through so much, more than probably anybody on the show, maybe except Veronica. She's just experienced all this pain and it's so hard to bring it back all up to the surface, and I gotta give credit to Archie, too, because what he did in this episode, and how he just wanted to do everything for his dad, and he was gonna sacrifice his chance in a high music academy for his father. That was incredible. That was really thoughtful. It's so Archie. Archie's such a nice guy, and that's why the Blossoms ate him up and just, just used him for everything. Everyone was wearing red, and they were all red-headed. It was really creepy. It's like a blood thing. I don't know. I just got like... It's so weird. It was really trippy. We got Polly again. Polly's back and, you know, she tells Archie, I'm kind of just doing this thing to figure out where the Blossoms are. It's cool. And I guess we're going to see what happens with Polly. There's something going on with her. You know, she's kind of planning something ahead of everyone else, which is kind of cool. It's really intriguing. So that was a really good aspect. And I think just the relationship between Archie and Cheryl in this episode and their chemistry, it really worked with me. I just liked their whole persona together, everything about them. I thought it really worked, and I understand why it, was a, it would be a toxic relationship if those two were together. So I loved everything about that. Everything of the Coopers in this episode, too, I thought it was really good. We go from the redheads to the blondes. That was really cool. I'm excited to see more with Alice Cooper because I think the actress is doing a bang-up job. She has been so great in these past two episodes. In this one, when she throws the rock through the, the building where the newspaper is that her husband works at and she just got fired from, I thought that was incredible. You can really feel the tension between the two of them. I can't remember her hu husband's name. What is it? I can't remember, but... No, I just love those two on screen, and you can see her, she's breaking down, she lost her husband, and she lost a daughter, and she's losing so much, but Betty's still there, keeping it strong together, I really love that, it was so powerful, it was so emotional, Alice Cooper is really coming into being one of my favorite adult characters on the show, I just loved everything about her, and I, I really hope she does some more things, we learn more about her as the series goes on, and maybe a little more of her history and her backstory with the Blossoms, you know there's bad blood between the Blossoms and the Coopers, I want to learn more about that, we know like the great grandparent thing, but whatever, who cares about that, that's in the past, and we do learn, big spoiler for the end of this episode, we do learn that is Clifford Blossom who put Hiram in jail, so now we have the Lodges coming into this, the black haired people, I guess is what you could call them, we have the blondes and redheads, the black hair, okay, sure, 
I guess there's more black haired people though, like the Joneses and I I guess. Okay. I got a little off track there. Yeah, so and everything with Hermione and Fred in this episode, those are my two favorite characters. And they were on screen, and when Hermione finally tells Fred, you know, that it's me and Hiram who bought the land and you're working for us and He's like, well, if we're going to do this, we're not going to do it illegally. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it proper. And you and me, we can't be a thing anymore. That was so awesome. I was such a big fan of Luke Perry in this. And every time Perry is on screen, man, I just get so happy. He knocked it out of the park. Hermione was so hard to watch, too, because she was just so intense. And I just thought, man, these two together, I like it. I can't wait to see Hiram come into this show. And you know what? It'd be awesome to see him. I really hope he comes in. I do think he'll be in there season two. And I think they should get a big name actor to play him. This isn't something you can just like fill in the role. I want a big name actor to play him, you know? So yeah. And then we have the other story of this show, which is I think one of the best stories they have done so far is with Ethel and Veronica. And when you see there's a lot of problems with Ethel, she's going through a lot and Veronica, who could have been a bitch this whole season, she's really become the nice girl and you can see that it's so it was so great to watch. Veronica knows that she hurt somebody before. She wants to make amends for that and do something nice. She invites Ethel to her house. They have a nice time, gives her some fancy clothes. And then, you know, we realize that Ethel's dad was in, you know, she was he was working with Harem. And then things happened. He tries to kill himself and he ends up in the hospital. That was a big shock to me. That was like somebody almost just died on off screen. But it was like, wow. That's another death on this show. I mean, we got Jason, but that's another one. That was incredible. And when she and when Veronica tells Ethel and Ethel's mother, you know, like, oh, yes, I'm a lodge. It's my dad's problem. I didn't do it. You can see she's breaking down. And when she finds out that Ethel's dad tried to kill himself, she breaks down in the bathroom. I love that. And she rips the pearls off her neck. And she doesn't want to be her father anymore. Oh, it was so beautiful. They make up at the end. I love that. It was, it's such a beautiful episode. There was so much passion in Cheryl and Ethel and Veronica in this. In these, uh, oh man, it was so, so great to see those three in particular. And Alice Cooper did really good too. This show's really becoming something. I, I don't know. It's really become something interesting. And one one more thing I do want to point out. Why was Reggie's name on the board at the very end? Because when we find out that you know, like Hiram was hiring. The, like Blossoms and Hiram and they're doing the thing and you know did he kill Jason did Hiram kill Jason and they put the name on the board of Hiram Lodge why was Reggie Mantle's name on there like what did Reggie do did Reggie do something I don't know so that's just a thing this episode was really good probably one of the better ones that's come out in the last couple episodes so that's my review and I'll catch you in the next one good luck